Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how I created this landscape uh, with uh, various textures combined like uh, the grass textures and the ground textures here on the lake. So, under landscape mode we can set the height to zero and uh, we can increase the scale like that and uh, leave the other parameters like that so click create all right here we have our landscape and you can see that if i go under sculpt and increase the brush size you can see that the resolution is very low and uh, that's very bad so under resize just increase the section size like that all right you can see that the overall resolution is a little bit better so under sculpt you can see that the hill is the hills are more defined and smooth that's uh, perfect we can start our landscape very soon okay just uh, we'll begin with the sculpt tool and uh, let's say in the distance we can try to increase the size and decrease the strength and try to paint uh, a very low perimeter with these heels like that all right and uh, here in the middle we can decrease the strength and increase the size to make a big hill just in the center of our scene uh, just that's just too much all right like that so that's okay and uh, just add a little bit of heels like that with the flatten tool we can flat our heels like that a little bit and with the smooth tool we can uh, make the heels more smooth just increase that one all right and here on the left of the center hill i can try to go down with the sculpt tool with shift okay i want to create a, a lake like this a big lake okay i can speed up a little bit all right i just create um, a plane where we'll see just the shape of the lake just increase size like that and under sculpt we can modify the, the the edges of the lake to add more detail on the edges of the lake and uh, 
we just add some some space right there some more water right there okay and i think i will add uh, a little bit of water on the right of the hill like that okay so the landscape is already set up with a collision as you can see you can walk with your character like that and here in the link in the description you can find these three textures just import the, the textures and and convert them to regular texture select the size 4096 okay and voila now we will combine these three textures on the landscape so we create a material name it landscape sorry m landscape like that and uh, open it so here we can import our first texture and just create a texture coordinate that uh, is for uh, increase or decrease the, the size of the textures on the landscape like that and uh, search for layer blend uh, landscape layer blend right let's add two layers from now the first one we can call it uh, grass And the second one, grass, two, very easy. And uh, ah, just make the third one, ground. Okay. The layer blend will, will take the three textures and blend them together with the paint tool under the landscape tab so plug the same text coordinate on the three textures and each one under the layer blend to the master material okay That's a very easy setup. Just save. And uh, we can now create a material instance. Like that. We can call this an eye landscape. So let's add a zero value to these three parameters and save. Okay. Just select the landscape that we just created earlier. And here we have to assign our material instance and i yes on the landscape material under the landscape tab now it's all black and it's normal do not worry 
under the landscape tab. Under paint, we can see that we have our three layers. Just click the plus button and click with blend layer. Here you can save the layer blend location. Just do it for all the textures. Okay. So the first textures is all applied on all the landscape. And you can see that the, the size is too small. So we can increase the size of the landscape texture by decreasing the fit values on the text coordinate, let's say 0 0.1. And as you can see, now we have a much better result so here you can see that the textures isn't seamless do not worry the textures that you will find in the description are seamless like this all right you can select the second uh, grass texture and start painting So here you can see that we have the tool strength and the brush size. So we can, ah yes, sorry, I use target value, this slide, because the tool strength do not work correctly on my Unreal Engine. I do not why, but you can see that I can mix the two textures of the grass by combining them with the target value. So with this number, 0 0.6, I can paint one texture over the other texture. And you can see that the ground textures is applied to and we can paint all the perimeter of the lake like this. We can decrease the size for this small section right here. just to add uh, some details on the landscape. The less the target value is, the less uh, we can see the texture selected. make uh, some variation on the landscape like that on the hill in the distance Okay, and we can do the, the, the lake by increasing the target value. So the repetition on these textures is very visible. 
So do not worry, we can increase a little bit the, the size of the textures to make the repetition more hidden. All right, here we are with our landscape and uh, that's uh, just a simple setup just to start to play with the, the settings of the, the, the landscape tab. I hope this video will be helpful for your future project. See you in the next video. Bye.